Hey everyone, so I had a couple people message me last night after I posted about uh, carrying in my concealed carry purse and I wanted to provide a little bit more information. So I'm not a huge proponent of off-body carry um, for a lot of reasons. I know there's a time and a place for uh, different options, uh, backpack guns, things like um, fanny packs are becoming very popular again and are great for trips to the gym, things like that. <clears throat> But when I'm going to be out and about amongst lots of people, I like to have my gun on my body. And that's pretty easy for me. I work at a gun range and so I'm usually dressed like this, sweater and jeans or a t-shirt, a tank top with a light jacket over it, something like that. So I don't wear a lot of dresses, but last night was an exception. And normally I would not have even bothered with my gun. Uh, going to where I was, I went to Western Missouri. It's a cute little town. I've been there tons of time. I used to work at a, a winery there part-time, really familiar with the area. Uh, I've gone there tons of times without a gun. I usually will just grab my pepper spray, my flashlight, my pocket knife, and kind of go. I'm, I'm a big proponent of not letting, not being able to carry a gun negatively impact what you do with your life. But... I have recently moved to a new place, as a lot of you are aware, and where I live now is in a large apartment complex. There are 15 buildings in my little area here. Um, there are six apartments in my building alone um, on my side of my building. So there are 12 apartments in my building, and my building, the buildings on my half of the, the parking lot are all two-story and across the parking lot are, are three-story buildings. So there are a lot of people in what is basically a giant cul-de-sac. Um, and I don't know these people. Like, granted, the, the area I live in is a little bit nicer. My, my son, when he came out here the first time, he's like, Mom, you live in a gated community. You just don't have a gate. So it's, I joke, it's a little bit bougie, but it is also less than five miles from an entrance to um, I-70. And if you guys follow along, you know I-70 is a major uh, drug and human trafficking corridor. Uh, a lot of um, bad people travel back and forth through this area. And there are so many people here, even though it's a nice looking community, well cared for, there's no guarantee that everyone here is a nice person. So I was gonna be getting home last night after, well after dark well after i'd normally be home so i wanted to bring my gun with me just in case so i decided to go with the concealed carry purse because the outfit i wore um, didn't really give me a lot of other options uh, something like a thigh holster might have been a good option if i were in better shape but honestly thigh holsters just don't work when you're a bigger girl Maybe someday soon I'll be able to get a thigh holster as I work on that. But right now, not an option for me. The Enigma is a great choice for a lot of dresses. Um, but again, that particular dress, the Enigma wouldn't work with. Uh, if you're curious about how to carry in a dress, Melody Lauer from Citizens Defense Research has some amazing videos that she's put out uh, that shows you how to conceal and carry in a dress. So uh, definitely check that out over on their social. But I wanted to talk a little bit about purses. So this particular purse that I bought, um, I got it forever ago when I was working in a different range because I basically got it at cost, but um, I bought it because it was cute and it was photogenic and I never really planned on carrying in it. I didn't have um, my my Ruger, <laughs> brain dead. I didn't have my Ruger at the time, so I, I pretty much only had my Glock 48 that I was carrying every day and the Glock 48 does not work in this purse. I, I bought this purse for demo purposes but it does work very well with my, my Ruger revolver. So I had a few people ask me what to look for when they're buying a concealed carry purse. And I'm not gonna go really deep into the weeds, but did wanna provide a little bit of information. So the first and most important thing is that you want to get a dedicated concealed carry purse. Uh, you don't want to just use any purse. I have a cute, super cute purse from Kate Spade. I'm not gonna throw my gun in there. You're looking first and foremost for a purse that has a separate pocket that is designed just for holding the gun. 
and most of them are going to have some sort of velcro inside and a holster um, so this one has a cute little matching holster so you want to find one that's got a dedicated pocket some of them they've got their different styles um, this is a bag from GTM the holster goes in here instead of the side but you also have that side access if you want um, this one is got this little zipper pocket in the back and there's the dedicated pocket for your gun but while we're looking at this one I want to talk about um, why I'm not a fan of this purse so I do like the uh, this is from gun Toten mamas and gun Toten's mamas make some really great concealed carry purses uh, something like this it's got the reinforced strap it's got the required separate um, pocket for your gun but I don't I don't know what anyone is carrying in this purse this is a super cute little purse but but this is that's teeny tiny my Ruger won't fit in here um, and it's a pretty small little revolver so the gun that you're going to be carrying in this purse is going to probably be really hard to shoot especially uh, for women who may not have done a lot of training. So we want to make sure that, that you get, so after finding a purse that has a dedicated pocket, you want to make sure that you get a purse that fits your gun. So this is from that little purse. This is a Glock 48 blue gun. So if I put this in the revolver or in the holster that came with it, that's not going to work. It's not covering the trigger at all. It doesn't fit. We're not even going to talk about the fact that um, my Glock 48 wouldn't even fit in the available pocket. But it's more than just the holster. So this is the holster that came with my, my red chameleon purse. And if we holster this Glock 48, it meets the requirements. It covers the, the trigger. It's not ideal because I can get my finger in there and on the trigger. Um, but this is then going to be inside my purse. Uh, so it's not, you can't get through it here, but you can get through it here. If you're drawing the per, drawing from your purse, it's really easy to end up with your finger on the trigger when you didn't intend to. Um, so you wanna find one that's got a holster that fits really well, that is not gonna let you get your finger down there on that trigger. And even if this holster were a little better for this purse, and the gun fits inside this pocket, When I go to draw, it's so big, it catches. So the, the bottom of the grip was catching on the bottom of the purse. So this purse, even though my Glock 48 technically fits inside it, isn't a great option for a gun of this size. It does work really well, like I said, for my Ruger because it's smaller. Now a larger purse like this one is gonna work much better for my 48 get its holster out here but the pocket the draw pocket is much larger and so there's a lot more room to get a hold of the gun inside there and also the design of this it makes it like I have to I can't accidentally I have to work to get my finger in there and on the trigger so it's when I'm drawing it's not going to let me just accidentally grab the trigger. I have to work to wiggle in there and get on the trigger. So those are a couple of things you want to look for. You want to look for a purse that has a dedicated pocket. You want to look for a purse that, or for a holster that meets the requirements of a holster. It covers the trigger, doesn't let you access that accidentally. And you want to make sure that the purse is big enough for the gun you are carrying. Now, there's a lot more to think about when it comes to uh, carrying in a purse, but those are some things to look for when you are shopping. And for my instructor friends out there, if you did not know, Gun Tote and Lomas has a program where you can buy used bags. Um, all three of these bags are used bags from Gun Tote and Lomas, where you pay like basically the shipping. Uh, you pay a small fee and you get these used bags, you know, it's marked up uh, that you can use for training which is a really great uh, option to have available for you. Because like I said, um, I'm not a big 
proponent of purse carry, but women are going to carry in their purses. So I want to do everything I can to make sure they're doing it as safely and effectively as possible.